Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Welcome to the recitation section of 10 to 13. Uh, this is our agenda for today. So first of all, we will review the concept of the physical state of the substance. And second, we are going to talk about phase diagram. First of all, the physical state is uh, a state that a molecule can exist in reality. So take water an, as an example. Uh, water can exist as gas, liquid, and um. solid, correct. So phase diagram is a tool for engineer or scientist to interpret or uh, very easily identify the physical state at a certain temperature and pressure. So we have this diagram, and on the horizontal axis is temperature with the unit of Celsius. And on the vertical axis, we have pressure with the unit of Pascal. Okay? As we just talked about, we have three different states of water exist in this diagram. At high temperature, this is the high temperature space. Low pressure, water will exist as yes. correct. So this is the gas state. And at low temperature, high pressure, water will exist as solid. solid. Great. And at moderate temperature and pressure, water will exist as liquid. That's what we usually see in reality. And there are a lot of, there, there are some, um, sorry, uh, some, of the, some, um, some of the components in this phase diagram, um, you have to identify the physical state of the matter and also when they um, transform from one state to another. So we have three different lines here. So each line represents a certain condition that, a, uh, that two phases can coexist. So for example, at 100 Celsius, 100 Celsius, and one hundred one point three two five kilopascal. So at this specific pressure and temperature, water can exist as gas and liquid simultaneously. So far, so clear? Okay. And there's an intersecting point of these three lines. This intersecting point is called the triple point. At this triple point, we have three phases coexist. So liquid, solid, liquid, and gas can exist at this specific pressure and temperature. Okay, so now there's a question. Supposedly you're on the mountain of Himalaya, and then you know the pressure is slightly lower than one atmosphere, which is less than 1.1 kilopascal. My question is, is the water going to boil at 100 Celsius or is going to boil below or above 100 Celsius? Anyone that volunteer guess? Yes. Melissa? It would be below 100 Celsius. Okay, why? Um, because if you're at a lower pressure, you'll intersect the coexistence line between the liquid and gas at a lower temperature. Correct. Excellent. Does anyone follow her? Okay, great. So, let me just wrap up today's lesson. We first uh, review the physical state of water. Water can exist as liquid, solid, and gas, depending on the temperature and pressure. And then we draw the phase diagram of water. And there are three different elements that we should remember. First, in each space, you have the phase of water. And then we have the coexisting lines, which is the uh, lines that water can exist in, 
as two different phases simultaneously, and then we have the triple point where three different phases can coexist. Okay, any questions for today? Okay, so this is for today. Next time we will talk about phase diagram of a mixture. For example, if you add sodium chloride, which is salt, in water, how does the phase diagram of water change? If you want to know that, definitely come to our next recitation session. Thank you.